Hey, hey, hey! With the release of the new Lion King movie, I thought it'd be a great time to, you know, get in the jungle feel here with a little Lion Sleeps Tonight. The old doo-wop tune by The Tokens. Super easy, three chords, one strumming pattern throughout the entire song. Get tuned up. Let's play this one. Let's take a look at this strumming pattern. So this is gonna happen throughout the song. I'm gonna show you two versions of it. So the pattern is up, down, up, mute, or up, down, up, clap. Either way you wanna say it for the first time we do this. We're gonna just use our index finger and we go up and then down and then up and then clap, which is our mute. So when you clap, I basically just kinda aim for covering the sound hole here. So we go up, down, up, clap up down up clap so let's just try that together nice and slow and then i'll show you when we kind of get into the chords here how it'll all play out so holding an f chord here with our left hand one two three four up down up clap up down up clap up down up clap So try that on your own. For this song, there's only gonna be a few chords in that strumming pattern the whole time, so really it's kind of an endurance thing to make sure that you can consistently keep doing that strum over and over and over again. So the other way that we can do this is with a left hand mute. Now this is the way that I prefer to do it. It requires a little bit more precision and timing, but I think if you knock it out, it's gonna really sound cool it's easier to kind of take it throughout the whole song. I feel like I get a little fatigued when I do this clap thing. So left hand mute or just your fretting hand for you lefties out there. We're going to hold an F chord. Now let me show you how to do this. This is kind of a little cool technique. So we go up, down, up, and then we take our extra finger here, which in the case for the F chord is the ring finger and we lift these two fingers that are holding the F chord. So they're still touching the strings, but they're not actually pressing them down. And you set down your ring finger so that when you strum, it deadens the notes. So I'll just do this really slow. So you go up, down, up, down. So you don't use the clap, you just go up, down, up, down. So on that second down strum, that's when you're muting it. So it's up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute. So the down strum is your mute strum. So it's up, down, up, mute, but it's actually up, down, up, down, because you're muting here with your left hand, not your right hand. So I'll show you this for all of the chords now. So the second chord that we need to learn is the B flat chord. So the B flat chord, I play with my index finger barring the bottom two strings here on the first fret, middle finger on the C string on the second fret, and then ring finger on the G string on the third fret. Now for doing the left hand mute for this chord, what you do is you actually just decompress your fingers off the strings. So when I have my fingers touching the strings without pressing them down, you get this deadened mute sound. For this chord, you go up, down, up, down. So I'm compressed, I'm decompressed. So when I hit the mute, my fingers are just touching the strings. You don't wanna have them down, you know, or make sure one of the fingers isn't still squeezing down and you get one note and then other dead ones. So you really want to practice this and get the timing of it down. Up, down, up, mute. Up, down, up, mute. The third chord and the final chord you need to learn for this song is C. The C chord, I'm just gonna play with my ring finger here down on the third fret and the A string. Now muting a C chord. The C is the easiest chord we ever learn, but muting it is a little tricky. We're gonna mute with our extra finger, and that's kind of a good rule of thumb for left hand muting is to figure out 
what available finger you have. So in this case, my middle finger is available here. So what I do is I keep my middle finger hovering over the strings here. I'm gonna do the same strumming pattern. Up, down, up. Now I decompress my ring finger so it's just touching the string, not pushing it down. And I lay my middle finger across so that it deadens that note. So I go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and the down is the mute. Up, down, up, down. So that is how you mute each one. You might want to just pause right here and work on each of these chords individually so that you can really work on getting those mutes. You don't want any of the notes ringing out, so it is kind of a timing thing. But once you get the hang of it, I promise you, it's really going to kind of add something cool to your playing. So now that we know how to mute each one of these chords, let's put this chord sequence together so you can see how it sounds with the strumming pattern going through this little chord progression. Now the chord progression, there's only one progression. It happens throughout the entire song. It happens in the chorus, which is the Wima Whip part, and then in the jungle, which is the verse. Two times on the strumming pattern for every chord throughout the song. On F. And then it goes to B flat. And then it goes back to F. And then it goes to the C. So twice for each chord. Let's try that nice and slow together, F, B flat, F, C. You're gonna get really tired of going F, B flat, F, C, but if you're working on bar chords and you're working on your B flat, this is a great song to do it with because you get to learn a left hand mute and you get to do a lot of B flat repetitions. So let's try this nice and slow just to get in the feel of it and then we'll kind of bump up the tempo and we're gonna play through the entire song. So here we go, starting on the F chord. Make sure you're in tune. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna play this one together. I'm gonna to try to get it as close to the actual song tempo as possible so that when you actually put on the recording, you can play right along with the tune by the tokens. Here we go, a one, two, three, four, we.
kind of just fade that right out as you go towards the end with as many Wima whips as you want. Well, I'm a little out of breath after all those Wima whips, and maybe you are too. Or maybe you're out of breath from all those B-flat chords, and I kind of am too. But hey, that was a lot of fun teaching that one. I really enjoyed sharing that Lion King moment with you. So, stand on the top of a cliff, scream out like Simba's out there somewhere. I don't even know what happens in that part, but I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to find out when the next video is coming out. And print the song sheet for this one over at allforyouk.com. It's free. All you need to do is go check it out. Print out your song sheet. You can take this out to your next group outing. Play this song with your friends. Start screaming out Wima Whip and annoying people wherever you go. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.